Hey, before starting the video, I would like to clarify that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. You can help this channel grow by liking and subscribing. Now, let's move on to the video. Hey guys, RC Thunder here. Today, I will show you how to beat Arlo. We did Cliff and we did Sierra. Now we will finally do Arlo. Arlo's first Pokemon is always Beldum. So... It's best to use Fire or Ground types at first. I will start off... Let's see. I will use Houndoom. Use Houndoom, Excadrill, and Dragonite. Heal Dragonite. Let's go. All right, so you got this. All right, so we got this. He always uses bell. I really hope I get Shoddy Shadow Shiny Beldum because it's a really great Shadow Shiny. And it was actually the first Shadow Shiny that actually was pretty good. His next Pokemon's Infernape. Alright. Alright, the shields are down. I'm going to use Dragon Eye because it's super effective against the drill. last Scizor oh, I think I should have kept pounding him alive alright Scizor is here I still have Excadrill yeah I didn't do very much oh, I missed that Scissor's almost down. Sorry I'm not talking as much because I'm too nervous. Alright, so let's see. Do we get Shiny Shadow Beldum? Do we get it? Three, two, one. Is it? Ah. Thanks. Ah, what was that? Slow you down a little bit. Okay, bro. Bro, 
Don't let me catch you, please. Let's go. I'm also trying to get every female Nidor energy because I'm trying to evolve for 90% Need Arena. So yeah, I'm cramping and catching every last Nidoran female I see. Alright, so now I will go on that website again, and I will talk about how to beat Arlo. So, yeah. What I actually like about this update... <coughs> sorry. Is the fact that all of the team leaders actually had a really nice overhaul to their teams. So, yeah. Like I said earlier in the video... Arlo will always have Beldum as his first Pokemon. And his second Pokemon can either be Gardevoir, Infernape, like we saw, or Agron. And his third Pokemon can either be Armaldo, Salamence, or Scizor. This is very interesting because... Sierra only kept one of her last Pokemon, because all the team leaders have at least one Pokemon that they've used since the beginning, since they were first debuted. So Sierra always had Houndoom, Cliff always had Tyranitar, well, Arlo has two, he always has Scizor and Salamence. And, and the third final Pokemon, potential final Pokemon, has always varied. I'm pretty sure when he first came out, it was Dragonite. Then, at some point, he had Gyarados. And I, and I forget what happened from there. And, uh, yeah, he has Armaldo now, so it's cool. Beldum is a ground and... I'm sorry, not a ground. It's a psychic and... It's a steel and psychic type. And it's weak to ground, ghost, fire, and dark. So we have... Yeah, we got four weaknesses here. The best way to thing is... Giratina altered form sh with Shadow Claw... And Dragon Claw or Shadow Sneak. Garatina Origin. With Shadow Claw. Shadow Ball or. With Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball or Ominous Wind. Golurk with Mud Shot and Shadow Punch or Earth Power. Heatran with Fire Spin or Flamethrower and. And Flamethrower or Iron Head. Sorry, I'm not used to reading three moves. You should have a lot of these Pokemon by now. And Chandelier with Incinerate and Shadow Ball or Flame Charge. And Rhyperior with Mud Slap or... And Rock Wrecker or Surf. So yeah, you should have at least a lot of these Pokemon... Some of them are pretty rare, but most Pokemon Go players by now should have them. <coughs> Giratina might be kind of rare. Both forms of Giratina might be rare because... Giratina is very rarely in raids. So... Yeah, the last time I've seen Garatina in raids was Garatina Origin form, and I don't even remember when the last time Garatina Altered form was in raids. I think it was like 2019 or something. So, 
Yeah. Goaler, you should most likely have. Heat Ran, you should actually most likely have because Heat Ran was in Legendary Raids countless times. So, Pokemon Go players had plenty of chances to get Heat Ran. I never got Heat Ran because I never found the time and I didn't have the resources in Pokemon to fight it. So. Basically, to beat Heat Ran in raids, you need to use ground types, but that's off topic. Chandelure is kind of hard to get because you need a Unova Stone and 100 Litwick candies. And Litwick is an extremely rare spawn, so... Yeah, Chandelure might be kind of rare, but trust me, Chandelure is really good, so it'll be worth it. Rhyperior we should most likely have because we had both Rhyhorn and December Community Days. And Rhyperior has been in the game for the longest time now, so... I have two Rhyperiors, so I'm good. And Gardevoir is a Psychic and Fairy type. And is weak against Poison, Ghost, and Steel. The best counters for Gardevoir are Heatran with Fire Spin and Flamethrower or Iron Head, Registeel with Lock On and Focus Blast or Earthquake, Metagross with Bullet Punch and Meteor Mash or Earthquake. Jirachi with Confusion and Doom Desire or Psychic. Venusaur with Vine Whip and Frenzy Plant or Sludge Bomb. Be careful when using Poison. Be careful if you want to use Venusaur because it is still a Psychic type. And if it has Confusion, then it's going to hit like a truck. So be careful. Magnezone with Spark and or Wild Charge and Mirror Shot. And Melmetal with Thundershock, Super Power, or Rock Slide. Heat Trend, like I said, we should most likely have. Reggie Seal might be hard to come by because they are pretty rare. They haven't been in raid since December, so, you know. Metagross shouldn't be that hard to get. Jirachi, you need to defeat the Jirachi Research. I'm really close to beating the Jirachi Research. All I have to do now is just spin a Pokestop seven days in a row. So, yeah. Venusaur, basically everyone should have. Magnezone? I, Magnezone's a weird case, and Melmetal is also a weird case. <sighs> Alright, Infernape counters. Infernape is a fire and fighting type and is weak against flying, ground, water, and psychic. What's cool is that as a fighting type, it actually covers its weakness, the rock, which is cool. So you're going to want to use Relicant with Water Gun plus Aqua Tail or Ancient Power. Kyogre with Waterfall plus Surf or Blizzard. Reshiram with Dragon Breath plus Crunch or Overheat. Palkia with Dragon Breath plus Aqua Tail or Draco Meteor. Victini with Confusion plus V Create or Psychic. Garatina Origin with Shadow Claw plus Shadow Ball or Ominous Wind. And Swampert with Mud Shot plus Hydro Cannon or Earthquake. Next, Agron. Agron is a rock and steel type and is weak against... Sorry, Agron is a steel and rock type and is weak against fighting, ground, and water types. It is four times weak to ground, so you're going to want to use ground types. Excadrill with Mud Shot plus Drill Run and Rock Slide. Or rock Slide. Steelix with Dragon Tail plus Earthquake or Crunch. 
Mel Metal with Thundershock plus Superpower or Rock Slide. Oh yeah, it's also four times weak to fighting too. I forgot. Stunfisk with Mud Shot plus Rock Slide or Earthquake. Lucario with Counter plus Power Up Punch or Shadow Ball. And Rhyperior with Mud Slap plus Rock Wrecker or Surf. Scizor. Scizor has only one weakness, and it is a, f it is a four times weakness to fire. And you're just gonna want to use fire types. The Pokemon you should use are Blaziken with Counter plus Blaze Kick or Flamethrower. Charizard with Fire Spin plus Blast Burn or Flame Charge. Entei with Fire Spin plus Flame Charge or Overheat. Typhlosion with Fire Spin plus Blast Burn or Flame Charge. Chandelure with, inc and, and Chandelure with Incinerate plus Shadow Ball or Flame Charge. Next, Armaldo. Armaldo is a bug and rock type and is weak against rock, steel, and water. The best counters are Terrakion with Smackdown plus Close Combat or Rock Slide. Kyogre with Waterfall. It says water. It should be Waterfall. Plus Surf or Blizzard. Garatina Altered Form with Shadow Claw plus Dragon Claw or Shadow Sneak. Tyranitar with Smackdown or Crunch or Stone Edge. Rampardos with Smackdown plus Smack plus Smackdown. I think I should say Stone Edge plus Stone Edge or Flamethrower. Agron with Smackdown plus Heavy Slam or Stone Edge, and Cobalion with Metal Claw, plus Sacred Sword, plus or Stone Edge. Salamence. Finally, Salamence. Salamence is weak to Rock, Ice, Dragon, and Fairy. It is four times weak to Ice. I don't know why there aren't any Ice types here, but anyway... Keep in mind that it's four times weak to ice. The best Pokemon to use are Tyranitar with Smackdown plus Crunch or Stone Edge, Togekiss with Charm plus Ancient Power or Flamethrower, Gardevoir with Charm plus Shadow Ball or Synchronoise, Clefable with Charm plus Moonblast or Meteor Mesh. And Agron with Smackdown plus Heavy Slam or Stone Edge. Alright, I hope this was helpful to some people. And this is RC Thunder signing off. Bye bye.